Q&A show and today is a Q&A weekend's episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you have a question you want to ask, make sure you email us over at support at businessrepublic.net. We would love to answer your question. We make sure that we catalog all the questions and get to them here on Q&A weekends. As always, I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online over at 100mba.net. Today's question comes from Brian, and Brian asks, is blogging dead in the age of video marketing? Interesting question, Brian. Yes, video marketing has become very popular now, especially live video. We have you know Snapchat that goes on, we have Vine, Blab, all these other apps that go on. Even Facebook now is doing live video. So video is really popular these days. But just because something is becoming popular these days, it doesn't mean what came before is not being used. I'm going to explain to you why blogging is not dead and why it's a great time to get into blogging. I can't wait to get into this one, guys. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by HostGator. With their 24-7 live support via phone, chat, or email, when you're getting started, you get your own tech team right on your side. Build your business website in minutes and they'll help you through it any time of day, any day of the week. And you can get started as low as $5 a month with their amazing deal for listeners of The $100 MBA Show. Just go to HostGator.com slash MBA30. Again, that's HostGator.com slash MBA30. So Brian asks, is blogging dead in this age of video marketing? No doubt video marketing has become huge and people are just getting on video as much as possible. I mentioned earlier Snapchat and Vine and Blab and webinars and you know now Facebook has live video and people are just getting on video because one, uh, it's become a very fast medium. People are watching videos on their phone. It's very mobile friendly. People consume information very quickly with video. And some people find shooting a video to be easier or faster than running a blog post. But does this mean that blogging is dead? I say emphatically no, because I think actually now is a great time to get started with blogging because fewer people are dedicating the time to do it. Video is powerful and it has its place, but nothing catalogs and nothing gets saved in the long-term history of the internet more than blogging. Google loves great articles, loves great blogs. You'll see that some of the first results of any keyword is an article for some major publication or major blog. So getting listed, getting ranked high with Google, meaning your SEO is just amazing, is a lot easier and it has a lot more longevity with blogging. Yes, you can search for videos on Google, but Google prefers YouTube videos and you know it will search for some videos on Facebook, but it doesn't index as well. I'm not knocking video marketing. I love video marketing. I do a ton of it. We've produced hundreds of videos on different mediums, on different platforms. We have a webinar software called Webinar Ninja. We do a ton of webinars. So video is something that I love to do. But for me, it doesn't replace blogging because blogging is a great way to build your asset, to build your brand and be a credible source when it comes to search engine optimization. Let's put it this way. I've made so many videos on the $100 MBA. I've made a lot of videos on YouTube. I post a lot of audio. I mean, the podcast has over 580 episodes. But when I search terms like MBA books, and we rank number one for a blog post that I wrote about the best books I believe that will replace an MBA education, it tells me that blogging has a lot more juice. And that's just how it is for now. And the less people are blogging now because they find that video is so easy and I can just jump on. But when you blog, the quality will be better because you're planning it out. You're putting it on paper or on the screen. You're evaluating it. You're editing it. And it becomes a reference for your market. So no, blogging is not dead. And for me, I believe it's one of the best content marketing generation tools because it has longevity. It's evergreen. It gets better over time. And that includes guest blogging, blogging on other publications. It also means being mentioned on other blogs or other websites or other publications. A lot of the traffic that we get for the $100 MBA show come from reviews that were written on for Inc. and Fast Company and Huffington Post and Forbes, people writing up about the $100 MBA show. It wasn't a video. It wasn't anything else. It was in text form on their website. And a lot of people find us through Google because of those blog posts. So having said that, 
I'm not saying not to do video marketing. It's a great tool. But if you want to build content that has great longevity, that will build your search engine optimization, that will allow people to find you faster and easier on Google and other search engines, then start blogging. Even if you just publish one blog post a week, 500 words, get into the groove and start writing about your area of expertise. My only regret is I didn't start earlier. And I'm so happy that I actually did get started when I did because some of the posts that I've written are becoming so popular now that I wrote maybe a few years ago. It's like a great investment. I love it. And I really highly recommend you get started if you haven't started already. Let me give you an example. I wrote a blog post back in September of 2013. And this blog post shows up as a page one ranking on Google for a very competitive keyword. And that keyword is self-promote like Donald Trump. Now, the funny thing is, is that my blog post is not that title. The blog post title is how to self-promote without looking like Donald Trump. Now, regardless of whatever your political views are, I didn't write this when he was a politician, but I wrote this back in 2013. It got a lot of traction and it grew. And now it's on the front page of Google. When people search these terms, I'm highly ranked. I'm ranked higher than the New York Times. I don't say this to beat on my chest or to impress you. I say this to show you that this works. I mean, how do you rank higher than the New York Times for a keyword like Donald Trump? Is you get in the game early and you write articles that are interesting. And over time, you will reap the benefits. Guys, I got more on today's topic. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, HostGator. When you're building a business, you don't want to have to worry about the tech of creating your business website or registering domain names or getting SSL certificates for secure checkouts. Let the experts take care of that for you over at HostGator. When you sign up for HostGator, you get 24-7 live support. So you get a whole team of people dedicated to make sure you win with your business website. They'll help you and walk you through creating your website, maintaining your website, and upgrading your website whenever you need it to be upgraded. That also includes that when you start with the baby plan with HostGator, you can upgrade at any time as your business and your website grows. But the point here is just to get started. And now is a great time because you could save 30% off with our amazing discount code. That means you can get started for only $5 a month. Just go to HostGator.com slash MBA30. Again, that's HostGator.com slash MBA30. Guys, to wrap up today's Q&A weekend episode, is blogging dead in this age of video marketing? Definitely no, and I really encourage you to get started with blogging if you have not yet. If you're interested in video marketing, go ahead and do it. Dedicate the time to have a video marketing campaign, a video marketing effort. It's definitely something that's great to use if you're comfortable in front of video, if something comes natural to you. But blogging is a great way to really, really have some longevity with your brand and the information that you provide as an authority. All right, guys, I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed today's Q&A weekend episode. Tomorrow we have a must-read episode. I can't wait for it. It's a great book that I read recently called The Automatic Customer by John Warlow. A great book when it comes to creating a SaaS product or a product that has some sort of membership ongoing fee to an access product. I can't wait to get into that book with you in tomorrow's episode. So make sure you hit subscribe so you get it automatically. All right, guys, that's it for me today. But before I go, I want to leave you with this. There is a secret, there is a hidden benefit to continuity, to consistency. If you just commit to doing a blog post once a week for the next two years, you're gonna have over 100 blog posts and those blog posts will gain traction in your area of expertise, in your niche, in your market as years go by. It's a solid investment. I know it's a long-term investment, but you're gonna thank me and you're gonna thank yourself for getting started now. All right, guys, I hope that helps, and I hope to see you in tomorrow's episode. I'll see you then. Take care.